In this week's parasham, the ketoret, the incense offering, plays a very significant role. First at the beginning of the parasham, when Korach and his 250 followers, the Nesie Aida, approach Moshe Rabbeinu and attack him with the words of Rav Lachim. It's enough already. Everyone is sacred. Everyone has the connection with God. Therefore, why are you raising yourselves above everyone else? And after Moshe Rabbeinu hears this, he proposes a test. And he tells them, Take your fire pans, and place fire in the fire pans and put on it the incense. And then we will see who truly has been chosen to lead the Jewish people. It's at that moment where the Torah ultimately becomes the source of the destruction of those 250 followers as HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings a fire and consumes them. And yet in Revi in this week's parasha, we find the very same Torah serving as the source of salvation. As HaKadosh Baruch Hu, angered by the entire rebellion, tells Moshe, stand away from the rest of these people, so, so that I should destroy them, consume them in a moment. Moshe immediately instructs Aaron to tell him to, to take that fire pan, Take the fire pan, put fire on it, place the incense on it, and go quickly among the people so that you should seek for them their atonement because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is angry with them, ready to destroy them. And that's it precisely what Aaron HaKohen did. He took the fire pan and he got, received forgiveness from HaKadosh Baruch Hu over the sin and saved the Jewish people the very same Ketoret, which was the source of destruction, ultimately was the very same Ketoret, which served as the source of salvation. How can both of these be possible? And the answer may be with a lesson that was taught by Rav Kook in his Ein Ayah, where Rav Kook, the first rabbi of modern, chief rabbi of modern Israel, explained that the Ketoret encompasses the entire Jewish people in its makeup. It brings together many different fragrances, including the chelbanam, the galbanum, which was an essential ingredient despite the fact that it was pungent, unpleasant. And nevertheless, without that type of scent, the Jew this ketoret was incomplete, just as the Jewish people have all different kinds of people who are part and important parts of the nation itself. And therefore, at the beginning, when Korach first attacked Moshe Rabbeinu, the lesson of the Ketoret was that not kulam kedoshim. It's not that everyone is the same. There are differences. And to claim that Moshe Rabbeinu and Aaron HaKoyen cannot serve as the leaders, that was wrong. And therefore the Ketoret was the source of the destruction. And yet later, when HaKodesh Baruch Hu wants to take out his anger on the Jewish people and destroy them. What Aaron HaKoyin does is he takes the very same Ketoret and he reminds HaKadosh Baruch Hu that there are all different kinds of Jews. Some of them who are fragrant and some of them who are not. Some of them who are following what they should be doing and some of them who are not. And with that message of the Ketoret, he brings about forgiveness for the Jewish people. One case, it was Korach. The second case was with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Aaron HaKohen in Revi is able to seek forgiveness and mercy from God, reminding him that everyone has different abilities. Some people are able to learn their lessons quickly and some will take longer. But just as the Chalbana was an essential ingredient within the Ketoret itself, each and every Jew is an essential ingredient in the makeup of Claudius Sir Adam.